drone fans to another exciting episode of Jamdong Drones. Today the propellers are off and it's all about the motors of the DJI Mini SE. Every drone comes with motors. It might be in the form of a brushless motor or it might be in the form of a brushed motor. Motors are what allows drones to be able to fly and to be able to track our movements. Now, there are many different types of motors out there, so it's very important that we're able to tell the difference when we see them. Now, let's take a closer look at this motor. As we're looking at this motor, we realize that it is a finely crafted brushless motor. And as we go throughout this video, you're going to understand exactly what brush and brushless is all about. So stay tuned, drone fans. At the ending of this video, you should understand the difference between this motor and this motor. And not only that, but you should know a little bit more about your DJI Mini SE's motors. The motors used by drones to fly also consist of what is known as permanent magnets, which is a material that is able to create its own magnetic field. Magnets attract other as metals well as, as well. other magnets too. Same poles, which is in this case north and north, will repel each other, while poles that are opposite will attract to each other. So there are two poles, north and south pole. It is important to understand this because this is the force that causes the magnets or the motor to turn. Observe in the figure above. Understand how the motor of the DJI Mini SE works. There are a couple concepts that we need to understand. Electromagnetism is one of the strongest forces that allow the motors of the DJI Mini SE to turn, and electromagnetism is just a fancy way of saying creating an electromagnetic field by using electricity. Now, if we look closer here, we see that we have a copper wire, and this wire has been wounded in coils. Now this screwdriver is going to represent just any metal that we would have lying around the place and it's just to illustrate that any metal or most metals can be turned into an electromagnet and how that works is by passing electrons through this copper wire here and the coils, let me just bring that a little bit closer, the coils that we are seeing here creates the magnetic field so inside the screwdriver inside the metal of the screwdriver there is what we call magnetic domains and in case you don't know what that is just imagine a miniature magnet or miniature magnets inside this uh, screwdriver here so we can always activate it by passing a charge through it and ensuring that the wire make coils around it. This will help to focus our magnetic domains in such a way that this metallic screwdriver becomes a magnet. Now to illustrate that concept and before I do this I should tell you that this experiment creates a lot of heat so once the negative and positive uh, connections are made this wire is going to start heating up pretty fast so just to save my skin what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be using some tape to tape the bottom here and to tape the top here and then I'm going to be using this screwdriver to pick up this pin. So it's right now, it doesn't have any magnetic properties. See, it's not picking it up. The battery has been connected using tape and I'm going to demonstrate now with this metallic pin. It's just a needle, an ordinary needle. And if I'm to put it down and I am to touch that with the screwdriver, you see that now it's behaving like a magnet. Now, another important thing that we need to know about motors, or DC motors in general, is that the polarity of the magnets continuously change as the motor is turning. So that means that we know that north and south poles are the two poles that are normally found in magnets. And if it is that we connect these two wires here, so we have a negative, we have a positive end here, and we have a negative end here. So if I am to connect this end here to our positive, and take a good look at the end here, this is the turning end, or the shaft. You damn right. So I'm just going to get this red wire here, and it starts turning like that. 
so it's turning and the minute I stop the electricity it stops turning and if I'm to turn around the battery then the direction of this wheel also will turn in an opposite direction now that we have a better idea of how the motor works time for us to pull it apart just to see the components inside first up is the brushes there are two brushes one at the top and one at the bottom these brushes allow electricity to flow from the power source which would be our battery in this case and the brush arms would provide the support to the brushes. Remember drone fans, you can only find brushes in certain types of motors. This is what communicates the power to the stator that sits right in the middle of these brushes. At the top of our motor is the gear. The gear is what makes contact with moving parts inside cheaper type drones that will allow the propellers to spin, as seen in the video here. Next up is the stator. The stator has other components attached to it like the copper wires you see here in the video. These are known as copper windings and this is what causes the electromagnetic field to happen. Each of these windings induce an electromagnetic field as electricity is passed through these windings. The more windings, the stronger the magnetic pull. The next component is the permanent magnet we see here inside the motor or the motor's case in this case. <laughs> So anyways, the permanent magnet will react with the electromagnetic field created by the stator as the electricity passes through it and as it exits the stator on the other side through the other brush. This is what causes the turning motion seen in the video before. Now, it is important to understand that brushed and brushless motors do not work exactly the same. Although the forces are push and pull, they do not fundamentally work the same way. Now the DJI Mini SC motor is what you'd call an outrunner brushless motor which means that the motion of turning happens on the outside of the motor. If we are looking very closely we see that each of these coils are arranged in a circular pattern and surrounding these coils are what we call permanent magnets. So each time these coils are getting energized that is power coming from the battery through this arm right here. So there's a wire that connects to our motor and it energizes these coils causing the outer section here which have permanent magnets to be repelled and to be attracted and that causes the turning motion. Alright, so this is what we call in the middle right here we call these the stator. So this is a stator and attached to the stator we have um, these coils. Now these coils are very special and what we need to know about this is as the motor of the DJI Mini C is very powerful. The stator as we can see here has many arms and many copper windings. This means that will, it will allow for a much smoother flow in terms of rotation. The outer metallic ring that we see with the two screw holes known as the rotor and this is the part that spins or articulates as the electric charge is alternated from st each arm of the stator so the rotor has its own permanent magnets and this will react with the electromagnetic current induced in the arms of the stator causing a push and pull force and causing the motion of the rotor to turn now the more copper windings we have the smoother the turn and of course the more efficient the motor in terms of caring for the motor of your DJI Mini SC it's very important that you store your drone in such a way that you do not have small particles like sand or other small pieces falling into the moving parts of your motor. You can understand how a, even a grain of sand would cause a lot of problems for the rotor to turn given that the gap between the stator and the magnets found in the rotor is very very thin. So guys, if you're going to be storing your drone, make sure that it's inside a bag that is specially designed for it and above all, make sure that it's very clean. Inspect your motors every now and again just to make sure that everything is Brush okay. motors are normally louder and they create far much more heat and they're not as powerful as their counterpart, the brushed, brushless motor. So, so, it is better to get a drone that has a brushless motor than one that has a brush motor. And is there anything that you wanted to see included in this video, but maybe you didn't? Comment down below, guys. Until then, 
It's Jamdung Drones, over and out.